Can you charge an e-bike with a solar panel and get all of your energy from the sun? The answer is yes. I did it in a very simple way. There's people on the internet who've done it more complicated and, and do-it-yourself kind of hacky ways, but this is a consumer level solar panel hooked up to a consumer level backup battery hooked up to a bicycle. So I'm using the EcoFlow Delta battery backup here and it has AC plugs on it. So you just have to plug it in and then turn on the AC. So I'm using the charger that came with the bike and then just turning on the AC and the battery runs a power inverter that powers the bike. So the bike is now plugged in. You can see that bottom level on the right, it says 124 watts are coming out of it. So now I've got to figure out how to get that many watts into it with my solar panel. And this is the power that the battery charger is putting out for the bicycle. So I'm gonna start the clock, first of all, to see how long it'll take. Should take about as long as it would if I plugged it into the wall. And then the bicycle itself is at 58% battery. So it's not totally dead. I just wanna see if I can give it a charge without losing too much battery. So you can see I've got 124 coming in and 124 going out. So right now the solar panel is making about as much power as the bicycle is draining. So it should stay up in the 90s and pretty much cancel itself out. And this is the solar panel. It's a 160 watt solar panel that comes in a little suitcase and folds out like that. The suitcase props it up. It's a pretty neat little arrangement from EcoFlow. There's links and descriptions to all of the things in this video. So that's aimed directly at the sun. You really have to aim it properly or you don't get full power. And with most of these, 160 watts would be if you were like on the top of a mountain right below the sun with no clouds. So you never get what you think you're going to get. So it says 160, but we get getting 124 out of it is actually really good. So we're an hour into it. Let's take a look at how we've done so far. We've got 124 in and 122 out. We're at 96% on the battery. So we've lost a little bit for sure. And then as the sun moves around, the input may change as well. So if you're going to be out there all day, you will have to reposition your solar panel. And if we go over to the bike, though, after an hour, it's at 93%, which is great. So it is actually putting power into the bike, sucking it out of the sun, and probably not costing us a whole lot of battery as well while we're doing that. And speaking of repositioning, I've laid it out flat on the grass because it's the middle of the summer and the middle of the day. So laying flat on the dead grass seems pretty good. I've got 114 coming in and then you can see there's only 42 coming out because the bike is getting close to full. And as it gets closer to full, the battery charger slows down, the, the bike's battery charger. So you can see it's already reading 100%, but it hasn't quite turned green yet. But I think we're going to call it 100%. Go ahead and finish it off. So that took two hours to charge the bike and really did not cost me very much battery at all. And if we fast forward to three hours, my battery is now back up at 100% from the sun recharging it. So now I'm back where I started. I got free electricity in my bike. Now, if you need more power, you can definitely run more panels in series. So I've hooked up 110 to the 160. So now we've got 270 watts in a perfect environment coming in, but you can see it's, it's given me 155 actual, but that, that is more than the bike's charger needed. So if I wanted to run multiple panels to charge heavier devices, I could definitely do that. So thanks for watching. Links in description, comment, like, subscribe.